Hi YouTubers, welcome again at uh, Sailing and Electronics uh, where we talk also about uh, 18650 cells and today uh, we're gonna open another e-bike battery it's gonna be uh, the Giant this is another type of Giant battery also lithium-ion with 18650 cells inside so I'm gonna show you how to open it we're gonna start off with these. In here we have two Phillips screws. You can undo these. And get take out this piece. Then you get to the light. The light is fixed also with two screws. Back. And then you can really take out the light like this. As you can see, there's a quick connector, so we don't need that anymore. Then we have another one, two, three, four, five screws to undo. When you hear them tick, then you know they are loose. That's the advantage of the e-bike battery packs. There's a lot of uh, screws holding the pack together, but that's the advantage of taking them apart. So the five screws are loosened. Normally they should come out. I already have three. These are loose also, so indeed five screws. Now you can see that it will open a little bit, but not much. So I'll take something to scrape, and somewhere around here and around here, there are. Um, clips in the plastic. So again you are going to try and open them with the screwdriver. That's the first one. around somewhere around here we should have the second one as you can see one here and one here the same thing on the other side first one the second one will be somewhere around here and indeed the shell has come off. That's the first shell. Then inside, this one is from the light we have already disconnected. Again, this is the contact point uh, for connecting this battery to the bike. A fuse 40 amps. And then we have the connector to uh, charge and this is also with a quick connect easy to undo. So 
So, once all the connectors have been taken apart, we can take out the lower shell. And we have again a battery pack com completely wrapped in plastic. So this one from the light, I'm go just going to cut to make it easier. These are all the connections and the wires which are held here but actually come from the other side. And this pack is really sealed. So this is uh, shrink together so it is moisture proof. Now we can slide it out of, out of this uh, plastic security. And what I see here is that the wires are much thicker than the previous battery. Uh, the previous battery was also um, a battery from Giant, but um, it was, I think, uh, 28 volts, and this will be 36 volts or 37. So the BMS board is also a lot bigger. Here we can see the heat pads, so when they, they want to balance, um, this will heat up to lose uh, some charge, so the other batteries can come to the same uh, volume. This is something you will see also um, when you see the Batrium BMS, uh, which a lot of people are already using. These are uh, some sort of long months. So I think we're going to start with unscrewing the main terminals. I'll take off the black one first. Okay. Then we've got the red one over here. Um, this is 12 gauge wire, 12 AWG. In the previ previous video uh, from the other giant battery, we saw that from the BMS to the bus bars, there were uh, solid connections. Uh, here they have chosen again to use uh, wires which are soldered uh, to contact points. The bus bars also have a different shape because of uh, the different shape of the battery. So I'm just gonna start clipping off all the leads to the BMS. So we can also disconnect or take um, away the BMS from the battery. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leads. Nine leads and it's uh, a pack with eight in series. So that's uh, how it should be. 
for uh, an 8 series spec. Now I do not see any screws which I can use to take it apart. So I'll use some brute force. No, I think it's screwed with these ones. Yes, my screwdriver will not go in there, so I have to go for another one. Okay, so with this screwdriver I will be able to take this apart. And as it looks like, it's only these two screws which hold the BMS. No. There's also one the other side. Yes. So the BMS was attached on these three uh, parts, so we don't need this anymore. Now you can see that we have two rows of cells, each of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 25 cells, so a total of 50 cells in one pack. I'm not sure if we can just take it apart. It seems we cannot. So we will start taking off um, these bus bars. But these metal plates are the bus bars connecting this side with this side. And it's these things that hold it together. I'm just gonna use a little bit more force. So I had to take the unit off the table because I had to use a lot of force to open these four screws. And now you can see that these four screws hold these two ends together. So now it's easy just to open up the pack. And we see the connectors, the bus bars. This one, this one, this one. Five bus bars. So now uh, we can start again removing these bus bars. So these two packs they were joined together like this. They opened up. I removed the bus bars on both sides. And now we can open them up to see the cells. So nice custom made uh, cell holders again. I'm gonna turn every cell around so they face, uh, they all face the same way. I think it's uh, safer for um, not shorting out the cells 
when placing it somewhere uh, when it's like this. The same here. As you can see these cells are perfectly clean. As you have seen the e-bike battery from Giant it's not really a difficult battery to open up. What you, what you find inside is uh, going to be about 50 batteries, 50 cells I must say, uh, so it's a nice catch. They are not all high capacities, it's about 2200 new, so when you are testing them they will probably end up uh, between uh, 1900 and 2000. So for me that's enough, if you are going to build the, the wall with only really high capacity cells then maybe leave it to somebody else. If you like this video please uh, check the like button below and subscribe to my channel. If you have some comments or questions please also note them uh, below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!